Hello and welcome to another episode of The Average EV. I'm here in my Model S and that must mean I'm on a road trip or kind of or not. Well, anyways, I'm flying out to Colorado and then I'm heading to Grand Junction, uh, Colorado for my niece's graduation from college. Let's get into it. Okay, everybody, so it is 4.44 in the morning. What are the odds? 4.44. Uh, stopped at Starbucks to get some coffee. I left home with 98% seated charge. I just charged up, so when I uh, get home on Sunday, I'll, I don't have to charge for work, because I'm gonna be, I might have to go straight to work when I get home sun, uh, well, Sunday, Monday morning. Uh, so, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, so one thing I thought would be fun is kind of mark how much you get to the garage with uh, state of charge wise and then see how much degradation there is so that might be fun but anyways like i said in the intro heading to colorado for my niece's graduation she's graduating from college it's a big deal because her and i are the only two people well, will be the only two people in my family with a four-year uh, degrees so it's a pretty big deal so i wanted to make sure i was there to support her Anyways, um, when we get, uh, so I'm flying out with my mom. So when we uh, get to Denver, I have rented an electric car. Which electric car? I'm not sure. It says a mach -E or other car or, or similar. Uh, so we're gonna see which similar car it ends up being. Um, I'm hoping for the mach -E would be nice. Uh, a Model Y would be nice too, cause I, I I don't have a lot of time in Model Y. I've got a lot of time in Tesla now. Between the, the refresh Model 3, and, hey, let me turn this light on for you all. Uh, the refresh Model 3 and obviously my 2015 Model S uh, and also the old Model 3. Um, but I'd like to get into why. So we'll just see what the luck of the draw is. Um, and then I'm gonna uh, bring you a fun little road trip going from Denver uh, through, the, through the Rockies all the way to uh, Grand Junction, which will be fun. I've seen all those, that whole route so many times on YouTube, but I've never done it myself, so I'm very excited. So anyways, let's get back on the road. I might catch up with y'all at the airport. I might catch up with y'all in Denver. We'll see what happens when I, when I edit this whole thing together. All right, everybody made it to the parking garage. Um, gonna go ahead, get on the shuttle to the terminal, and then hopefully uh, catch a flight to Denver, Colorado. Also wanted to say we arrived here with 78% state of charge. Uh, so we'll see how much we have left when I get back, but that should be pretty good. Get me home, get me to work, and then I can charge up uh, on uh, Monday evening. All right, everybody I made it to the car rental place. Um, they did not have a Mach-E, but they have this, which I'm actually much more excited about. That's right, Ionic 5, looking good. I believe it's all wheel drive, so this is gonna be nice. And then as far as charging is concerned, we're not gonna have to worry about it because it'll be nice and fast as long as the chargers work. Okay, everybody, so we got out of the airport, stopped at Starbucks, and then um, this is my first time in an Ionic 5 ever. Uh, and I used to have a Hyundai product, which I really enjoyed, um, but I uh, want to use CarPlay and you have to have a wire and I don't have the, the USB-A anymore, I only have USB-C, so now I have to go to Walmart to get the right wire, which is a little bit annoying. But, uh, so we're gonna do that, that way I can have all my navigation up on the screen and that would be great. And then just another thing to say, I'm not gonna like do all the efficiencies and stuff like that. Um, this is just gonna be a low key, heading out over uh, the Rockies to Grand Junction. Uh, I'll show the charging because the Ionic is a charging beast, but nothing too fancy for this video, but it'll, it'll be fun nonetheless. All right, everybody, it's a little windy, but uh, we got here to Buffalo Wild Wings. We're gonna eat and then we're gonna get on our way. Again, we're not really in much of a hurry, so we're gonna enjoy, enjoy the time we have together. All right, we just finished up at Buffalo Wild Wings. There it is. All right, uh, but now we're gonna head off so we're gonna uh, go 
stop in Edwards, charge, and then head to Grand Junction. Uh, we can charge up at Grand Junction because there is an Electrify America there, so no worries. Uh, it says it's gonna take us about four hours and 20 minutes with a short, short charge, so looking good. Uh, really enjoying the Ionic. A couple weird things that I'll talk about real quick. First weird thing, like I said, you have to plug in. I'm actually used to that from the Kona, but it's um, whatever. I I've gotten over that, but uh, that's fine. I actually prefer plug-in CarPlay than wireless CarPlay because the wireless CarPlay burns a lot of battery. Uh, and um, in my observance, when I had the Kona, like my phone didn't really get that hot when I plugged in. Uh, which was nice um, and then another thing that was not weird and again I'm used to for the, the Kona but not since I've been in the Tesla and the ID4 is that you have to press the the start and stop button to turn it on uh, just have to reprogram my brain and remember to push that off because I walk out the car is not turned off I have to come back in it's just like when I had my Kona so uh, which is fine I, I really don't mind that but that's fine other than that it drives really nice um, I, I'm gonna do a driving impressions video so you can be on the lookout for that and then I love, ha love having my regen paddles back. And then the HGA2, I believe, is what this is. Or maybe, I don't know if there's a step above HGA2. I think it's just HGA2. But whatever, um, that works awesome. Um, man, not that I was intentionally not having my hands off the wheel, but I just left them off to see how long it go. It was almost two minutes. So um, I obviously would have my hands on the wheel normally, but I just want to see how long. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and get on the road to Edwards, Colorado. Okay, everyone, so we made it here with 43%. It was supposed, we were supposed to get here with 25%, uh, so we probably could have went further, actually, but whatever. We're gonna charge up uh, 60, 70, maybe 80%, however long it takes me to, to use the restroom, and then get on our way. Let's see what we get max speeds. Probably not max speeds. 155 looks good to me. Uh, we're a pretty high state of charge, so not what I had planned, but I thought we were gonna get here at 25%. Oh, going even faster, 179. Looking good. All right, everybody. We're charging greed, actually. Getting, where we at? Oh, it, it just ramped down. We were getting 234 kilowatts, so that's looking pretty good. Been here four minutes at 15 kilowatt hours. Uh, gonna go ahead, let it charge up, and then get on our way. All right, everybody. We're gonna leave here at 80%. Um, currently at 75, pulling 132 kilowatts. A uh, really quick charge stop here. Uh, something happened I want to tell you all about. I have my ID4 plan set as uh, standard and I wasn't thinking about it and I tapped and um, it just automatically uh, was charging me the full price, the non-member price. So I didn't realize it till too late. I stopped and restarted it. But now I know when we get to, um, to Grand Junction, I can um, uh, plug in and I'll have it set to my um, the, mem the pass plus so I get the 25% discount because uh, that's uh, would have saved myself about 10 or so dollars uh, but anyways gonna unplug here in about two minutes and then get on the way to Grand Junction and uh, we should be able to charge there and be good to go all right everybody we're all charged up to 80% now we're heading to Grand Junction and then we'll charge up there and then uh, go to our Airbnb yeah, here we are everybody, 24% state of charge. So we don't, I mean, I'd like to charge, but we don't need to. So we're just gonna go right over there to Sprouts. That's Hobby Lobby, there it is, Sprouts. And then um, hopefully maybe one or two will be gone by the time we come back. But if not, I did find a charge point we could go charge at. All right, everybody. So we came back to the Grand Junction um, Electrify America site and Basically, the situation is two of the stations of this dispensers, my apologies, are completely down. Um, I called Electrify America. There's a ticket in already, uh, but they're not rushing too fast to do anything about it, it looks like. And then uh, the 350 and the other 150 are being used. Uh, the lady in the ID4 is super nice, and she said they have four minutes left, and she's going to let us um, take that, that charging spot. But... Um, it's just, it, this is disappointing. This is actually the worst experience I've had with Electro America in a while. Um, this is just, I, I don't understand how really any Electro America station on I-70 wouldn't be fixed within 24 hours due to how important they are. But you know, whatever, it is Electro America and I'm, I'm not 
truly shocked at how incapable they are of maintaining their network. Well, we've plugged in, but I think we might have some issues here. Let's see. All right, so finally plugged in. Again, the ID4 owner was super cool. Let us come over here. Now I said there uh, looked like there was a problem on the app, it said 50 kilowatts, but as you can see, we're getting full speed. So um, I'm definitely not gonna complain about it working properly. Uh, I just wish that these two chargers would work as well. I did call and give Electrify America my my uh, my uh, advice. Uh, I'm sure they don't care, but whatever. All right, so we're gonna charge up to, I don't know, 60, 70, 80%, and then we're gonna head off to our Airbnb. And then probably after that, I'll catch up with you all when I head back to Denver. And here, just to show you all, it's just completely frozen. It says one to 50 kilowatts. That's why I thought there'd be an issue. I press continue. So, but at least it's charging. And when, these are the old ABB, so that makes sense. Everyone, you won't believe it. The screen actually updated. Look at that. 14 minutes, 46 kilowatt hours delivered, 159 kilowatts right now. We're gonna unplug here at 80% and then get on our way. So that's pretty awesome, 23 to 80 in probably 14, 15 minutes. So I bet we could probably do the 10 to 80 in that uh, 18. I'm hoping to test that tomorrow, we'll see. Sounds like charging south, I'm gonna go ahead, unplug and then get on the way. Okay, everybody, trip is all over. Now I am heading back <laughs> to Denver. Uh, at 12 o'clock, there's like a cars and coffee thing. Uh, mach -E vlog's gonna be there, so I'm gonna stop in uh, for a little bit, hang out, say hi. And then probably go find a nice lunch somewhere in Denver, do a couple things, sightsee, and then um, head back to the airport. My flight's at 5.55, I think 5.55. So I've got plenty of time to kind of do some things and figure things out. And I need to charge the car up before I return it to the um, the car rental place. So let's go ahead, get on the road, and then I'll kind of uh, catch you all up in a little bit. All right, everybody, we are on the way. Um, we're heading to Glenwood Springs where we're gonna charge. Although um, I've been using a better route planner and it keeps kind of like telling me I'm gonna get there with six and then I get there with like 26%. So I'm not sure that's about, I have a theory it might be because I've been in eco mode and that only uh, does one motor and makes it more efficient. So um, that's a theory. Uh, so I'm gonna see how it goes as far as Glenwood Springs and then if we can go a little bit further, maybe we can stretch it um, to Edwards, maybe we can't, I don't know. I'll, I'll kind of evaluate when we get there. Uh, but we start at 60% state of charge, uh, mainly because I want to do um, a 10 to 80% uh, charging uh, recording just for my own personal records. Um, and I gotta, gotta burn the battery. So if it doesn't burn the battery, then I might get a little creative uh, in trying to figure out how to burn some battery so I can do that test. Anyways, after that, uh, we're gonna head, and I, I forget the next stop, but it's the one after Edwards. I don't, I can't recall the name, uh, but we'll go there, and then next stop would be Denver. Uh, we'll probably stop somewhere, uh, charge up, uh, grab lunch, not grab lunch, um, grab coffee at the Cars and Coffee, and then grab lunch after that. So, just gonna get on, get on the way. Just beautiful views. Got the mesa behind us. Uh, got all these beautiful mountains in front of us. It's just gonna be a really nice ride. Just me uh, on my way back to Denver, so I can catch my flight back to Maryland. Okay, everybody, we made it here with 10%. Had to work harder than I would have liked to to get it, but there we are. That way I can do this uh, charging test, in case you're wondering. It's kind of what you get, and it does give you a warning at 10% that, hey, you need to charge your car. So I'm gonna plug in. Um, I'll catch up with everybody after the charge session because my phone is gonna be screen recording all of the charge data. All right, everybody, so that just finished up. 19 minutes to go to 80%, it says 79 there, but it's 80 in the car. Let me go ahead unplug and then see definitely didn't just trip it's going here uh so some sort of network issue here uh, price cannot be shown so that's kind of weird but at least i was able to charge so that's always appreciative appreciated 58 kilowatt hours added 
There we go. So I guess we'll see what happens later as far as whether or not um, I get charged for that. I'm obviously not asking for a free charge, but um, I don't know how long it takes for a network issue to resolve. And then when it does resolve, what happened? So that, that'll be interesting. Uh, but anyways, yeah, it was a good charge here. I rolled up and there was a uh, EV6 and they had just wrapped up, so that was nice. All right, everybody, so here's the plan. Um, we're gonna leave here. Again, we're going to Moru Coffee in Denver. Uh, we're gonna make it to, I believe it's Colorado Mills Mall. Uh, it says 2%. I think we'll probably arrive with much more than that, but we'll see. Uh, and I have plenty of bailout options. Uh, and then there we are, 80% 80, 80 state of charge. So let's see what happens on this next leg. All right, everybody, I'm stopping in Edwards, not to charge, but to get uh, some food here at Starbucks. Uh, my, tu my tummy was getting a little grumbly, so I'm going to get that and then get back on the road. Hopefully this won't take too long. All right, got a sandwich. Ate that already, got my coffee ready to go. Let's get on our way to the Colorado Mills Mall. And Edwards, this is actually a really nice area. Um, the Where the charger is here is a little hectic, but... Like if you go around and need to do some stuff, there's plenty of stuff to do. So a really, really cool place. We made it here 26%. That's a little bit more than 4%. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug in and then, uh, talk a little bit maybe go to the restroom and uh you know kind of catch you all up all right everybody we're connected gotta see what charge speeds we get here we are power sharing this is a balanced charger so probably aren't gonna get full speeds but that's okay give me enough time to run inside 197 so i'll take that i'm gonna go ahead and run inside and then um catch up with y'all in a little bit colorado mills mall like my america station it's all full there was another Mercedes, but I know it's a BMW, BMW iX. I guess they left, but this Rivian's pulling out. Hopefully we're not too long uh, charging up here. All right, here we are. Six minutes left to 80, which we might do. Uh, and then I'll charge again, I guess, right before I go to the airport or I'll charge, I don't know. I'm trying to mull over if I just charge it 100%. That way it's done. That's. But, you know, I don't like to charge car batteries up to 100%, but that's what they gave it to me with. So I guess that's what I have to give it to them back with. So I don't know. I'll make a decision, but we're here. Uh, 30 kilowatts at around, um, I don't know, 60 something percent. All right, here is our plan. Um, we're at 73% now. I do have to eventually charge up to 100%, but you'll see that'll take me 25 minutes. Um, I'm gonna do that later uh so right now i would get to the cars and coffee at 1204 so i don't want to be too much later than that so i think if i just let it go to um 80 that'll be fine and then i can top it off uh later after the cars and coffee event and i go grab lunch so that's the plan uh sorry to waffle a little bit but i, I really wasn't sure what i wanted to do now i know i want to do and there we are all right, everyone, we're at 81% actually. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug, turn this off, stop. There we go. Unplug. See how we did there. 16 minutes. Okay. 26, 81, 60 minutes. All right, so I'm gonna hop in the car and get on the way to Moru Coffee. All right, everybody, that was super fun going on the, the little cars and coffee event. Uh, the coffee was really good. And I got to meet um, Patrick and Liv from Maki Vlog. They were super nice and got to talk to them for a little bit. So I'm really glad I was able to go and uh, meet them and a few other people. Uh, that, was, that was really cool. Uh, now I'm on the way to go get um, lunch and then i'm gonna drop the old ionic 5 off at the airport take the shuttle back and uh go get go get in uh 
into the terminal and I guess find somebody to get a little bit of work done because I do have some work I need to get done. So catch up with you all in a bit. All right, everybody, I'm here at Electrify America. I believe somewhere in a, a, like Aurora, Colorado, uh, very close to the airport. Um, anyways, I'm charging up to 100%. Normally I wouldn't do this, but they gave it to me 100, so I'm gonna try and get as close to 100 as possible. Um, doing nice there. Uh, we had a, a Solterra charging over here. Uh, it was like 33 minutes. They put in like nine kilowatt hours or something. It was like, it was not great. And it was charging at, I believe, 12 kilowatts. And that was at like 60% state of charge. So not a really good uh, charging curve there. And then we had an ID4 over here. He was super cool. Talked to him. He had a 23 uh, 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 metallic black. I can't think of the name. Get galaxy black whatever it's the black metallic that we have but he had the nutmeg interior uh but he was super nice he really enjoyed it um the one thing he said was with this charging station um the phone service and i can actually agree is not great so sometimes he has trouble activating because of the phone service which is unfortunate um but yeah this is a nice little charging stop um i you know i didn't tell everybody or maybe i did i, I forget uh well we'll have to see what happens when i edit the video later but I've been having issues with the HVAC when the battery gets too hot, it like, the HVAC doesn't work. So that's why I have the windows open I'm outside of the car. So I don't know if it's a this car thing or if it's a all Ionic 5s. I did talk to um, uh, Plug and Play EV and he said he's not aware of this issue. So it might just be this car. So if you have a 2023 Ionic 5 and you have had issues with your HVAC when the battery's hot or it's hot outside, let me know. Cause it definitely has been a little bit annoying on this trip. Um, and I've been having issues with it. I just haven't talked to you all about it because I keep forgetting and having to worry about like doing other things. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, pretty good charging experience here. And just gonna um, finish charging up to 100% and then go drop this off at the car rental place. All right, everybody, done charging and head off to the airport. Let's go. All right, I'm back on the ground here in Maryland. Okay, we've made it back to the parking garage. I've already looked and I've got 72% state of charge. So vampire drain, phantom drain, whatever you want to call it, 6%. So basically 2% a day. I think it was, I think it was like, I don't know. It wasn't like cold or hot. It was like 60s maybe. It was rainy. So, oh well. But Gonna go ahead, get in the car, head back home. So I think I'm just gonna wrap this video up here. That way I can focus on driving, getting home, and then going to work this morning. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. As always, if you haven't already, please give a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will catch you all next time.